Hello and welcome. In today's video, I get to try a new to me product and if we like it and you like it, there's going to be a 15% off discount code down below in the description box. So let's see what we think. I'm very excited to try these out. So a company by the name of Grabby or Grabby, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, but either one sounds fine, right? Right. Anyway, they reached out to me and we have some goodies in this box that we get to try out and review. Let's dig in. Here is the product that we get to try out today. I did untape it, but I didn't pull anything out yet. So let's see what we have. I got to choose which product I wanted to review, but I forgot what they were. <laughs> 36 acrylic paint markers. Oh, if you guys know me, then you know that I love Posca markers in particular. And then I tried the Archer and Olive in a video just, I think, one week from this video past in the past. That was really fun. And now I have more colors and look, there are browns in here. I really need browns. So this will be great. Much thanks from Grabby. Nice to meet you. Very cool. So the first thing that I wanna do is pull these out of the package and activate them and see if their color tips match the actual color that comes out of the marker. So after pulling the package plastic off, then these are individually wrapped, which is probably a good thing for acrylic markers. So I'm going to see if we can just unscrew them like we do with Posca markers to get the plastic off. Otherwise this could be a little bit tedious. Yes, you can. You can unscrew them and it breaks the seal. Clear down that whole seam. Wow, that was easy. Probably easier than a Posca. We'll see if another one is like that. Yep, exact same thing happened. Broke down the entire seal. So they will be very easy to open, that's good. The nibs look very similar to those STA acrylic markers that I have reviewed in the past and used a few times. I'll link that video up there. But let's go ahead and activate these. Well, I should probably get the rest open and activate them and then see, but I wanna see the box that they come in. So there is no divider down inside of it to keep them apart from each other. Yeah, so they have a nice little box here, but there's nothing keeping the individual markers apart from each other. However, it's kind of neat because the box is really sturdy. And you can see, I just put it over on its side here. And so as long as you don't mind when you pull one out that they'll fall and you'll have to put it back in a different place or really move things around. Actually, that wasn't too bad getting that back in. Let's pull the yellow out and let's pretend we want it right next to that green again. Oh, they didn't really fall because of the uh, diagonalization of it. That's my new word. If I wanna put that back in, super easy, okay. So you wouldn't have to buy an extra storage bin because as you guys know, if you saw my Christmas using art haul supplies video, I did put my new marker storage bin, but it was completely full except for the two extra ones over there, which I didn't really have room for over here. And having these just in this bin already, I think will be perfect. I'll just set these next to those and I'll show you that more towards the end of the video. I really like that. There is the box. I don't think I showed that to you quite yet. Oh, and that's it, just that and that. Shake, press it down, recap. If you're under three years old, you should not be using this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get these open, we'll try them out. I have spent some time putting these in the order that I am semi-happy with. <laughs> so many of the colors, like the purples could be with the blues. Anyway, whatever, here's the order I chose. And I wanna try my render sketchbook. It has been a long time <laughs> since I've tried it. I was sent these Parku alcohol markers and that's all I've done in this. And those are really good, by the way, I suggest those. I'll link that video for you in the corner. So I will be very interested in seeing how this does because render is a no-show through paper. You're supposed to be able to paint on it ink on it with any kind of media and it will not show through. So I will use this next page. I'll do the swatches on this side, some kind of illustration on this side, but my frustration with this sketchbook already, and granted this is an old render sketchbook. It's like back when they kind of first came out with this and it's very possible that they have fixed this, but this will not lay flat even in the middle. It does not lay flat. So I think that until it really breaks this spine or something, it's kind of going to be frustrating to use. I'm going to go grab an office clip so I don't have to keep holding that down. 
and this side's okay and and this side but you know once you get to the back you're gonna have the opposite problem Ugh, just a mess but i really do want to try this paper out i'll grab my office clip and we'll get started all right if we take a look at the barrel you can see that it just says acrylic painter it shows the nib and then marks on anything and it's water-based pigment ink strong covering for sunproof and waterproof which is kind of cool and the instructions on how to use it i believe that's the actual brand of these markers just that grabby sells them and i believe the number 1000 is just the nib size because every single marker in this set shows the number 1000 on it but there's no color names or anything so we'll go by the marker tips only in my opinion, it's very important when you are priming acrylic markers to never do it on the surface that you're actually wanting to work on. Always grab a scrap piece of paper, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later when it comes to these particular markers, because there's a good reason for that. But look at those colors. They're just gorgeous. They lay down beautifully. The nibs feel nice and soft at this point. So I would say, now that we're done swatching, beware, barely prime these barely because I barely prime them and you can see the large amount of liquid that has come out of them yeah so definitely do not do it on the piece that you're working on take it onto a separate piece of scrap paper to prime it and then hope for the best because I like barely barely touched them knowing this was happening and still just psh. so good thing there's lots of paint in each of these all right let's compare the marker lids now to the swatches they're pretty well dry Let's grab the red first of all. So the marker lid's just a little bit more brighter, but I would say the color is pretty well the same. Let's try this purple. Purple in actuality, is that a word, is darker. So let's try this one. That's exactly the same. We'll just try a few more random ones. Pretty much the same. Let's try this peach one. Pretty much the same. Let's try this bright green. Eh, a little bit different, not too bad. Pretty much the same. So these browns are the ones I'm kind of the most curious about. Well, that's weird because I would have said they're not the same at all. And they are pretty much the same. I guess the swatch might be a tiny bit darker than this. But see, when I look at this, I think because the sun is shining through it, that it lightens it. So when you look at the side of the barrel, you get a pretty accurate representation. Now this one looks very much a red brown on the cap and it is a red brown but it's not quite as red brown as the cap shows although when you hold it like that they pretty much look the same. That was not dry. Let's try a blue or two. Very similar. Let's try a bright blue. Okay so what haven't we tried? A yellow? Hmm. The cap's a little bit darker than the actual yellow, but not a horrible representation of the colors. So I would say you're pretty safe looking at the cap colors, which is great since there's no color names or anything, which, whatever, it's fine. You can always come back to your swatch sheet. I think everyone does that anyway to find out what colors that they want to be using for the day. But yeah, not a bad representation. Actually, I'm kind of curious about this one. See, it looks, it's just a little darker, I guess. So if I look at these caps, I can go, okay, mostly it's going to come down just a tad bit darker than we see there, but only a tad bit and only on some of them. All right, good enough. Now, what do we want to paint draw? Yep, you heard me, paint draw. Oh, by the way, look at the white, how opaque that is on that. And the silver and gold, beautiful. Beautiful. I decided to go more surrealistic for this little drawing. I wanted to do lots of layers, use several colors. I knew that I couldn't use all the colors. That's just kind of unrealistic, but I definitely used at least seven. I don't know. You guys should count them for me. Let me know. <laughs> but I was kind of figuring it out in my head, and I think I used at least seven. Oh, I forgot about the red, so probably eight. Yeah, so I got a good representation of the colors. I keep saying the word representation in this video. Don't know why. It's just one of those days, I guess. <laughs> so these are fun to use, you guys. This little paint drawing was pretty stress-free knowing that they're acrylic markers. And if I messed up, I would just paint right over the top of them with the appropriate color that wasn't a mess up. So I didn't really mess up anything. I didn't really have to go back over anything too much. But I did lose some of the blacks in the tree. And I was able to put them back in super easily. I was able to, you saw when I did the whole right side black in that blob in the middle, I 
painted right over the top of that. So I just had a lot of fun with this. And then I had to leave it and come back the next day and it just acted like it did the previous day. Nothing out of the unusual. Wait, no, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Probably cut that out. Okay, I didn't cut it out, but whatever. That's okay. <laughs> you guys see how I really am sometimes. Kind of a scatterbrain when it comes to talking all at once, but that's all right. That's all right. We're looking at fun art while we're doing that and acrylic markers are really fun and it's fun to get this sketchbook out that I've been dying to use for years and years. <laughs> Finally, I use it. What the heck? Why does it take so long? I actually thought about doing a sketchbook challenge this year. We'll talk about that later. Well, that's it. That's all. Here we have whatever this is and I love it. <laughs> it was so fun to work with these markers. So easy. I even went over the same color a couple of times, so basically layered. And sometimes, like on the markers, I have the STA ones that I've talked to you guys about before. I'm trying to grab one over here, hang on. Like these here, they have a hard time layering over each other, I noticed. But these, these do not. These are great. So I am just thrilled. I have 36 colors now to add to my collection of acrylic markers. I will not hesitate to use these. So I don't know how they'll be after they sit for a month. So make sure you're subscribed down below if you don't want to miss the next update because it is always fun to try these nibs out after they've been activated for a month or two. And I will definitely have that coming up on my channel. So thank you if you're already subscribed. I appreciate that. Hit the like button too. It actually really helps my channel. Did you know that? What do you guys think? Do you think you would like to give them a try? I vote yes. I almost forgot one of the most important things. This is the render sketchbook. So how did it do on this side? Absolutely nothing came through. Okay, you saw me layer a bunch and bunch and bunch. <laughs> that got out of hand. But a bunch of color on this side, a bunch of paint and the back side looks completely normal. Like I could use it entirely. It didn't even like warp it. Like when you use a bunch of water, you can tell that it is warped, but it doesn't have those warp ripples on this back side. So I think that once this lays flat for a while, it will completely flatten. So that is great. Also, I've had this open and shut a couple times. I shut it when I'm not working on it so that the cat hair and all of that doesn't get into it and it's not cracking or anything like that. But I don't know, you saw me put the layers on. They're not on thickly. I wouldn't put them on thickly because you can see here where I activated the paint that it has cracked, but this is just copy paper also. So it's not paper that's worth anything here, but it was super thick here and it did crack, which all acrylic paint or paint in general will do when it is piled an eighth of an inch thick. Okay, probably a sixteenth of an inch thick, whatever, when you activated it. So be careful about the thinness of this paint. That would be my only caution and enjoy it because this, this is awesome. Okay, they say these markers can mark on anything. And that's probably true based on how I felt they were doing, but let's give it a try. This is just a glass we got at a wedding and it used to say the wedding couple's name and date, but that didn't last through the dishwasher. So we will just do our own little designs. Wow, that's very smooth and nice, really easy. So I imagine if you wanted this to last, you would need to seal it as well. But what I will do, I won't send this through the dishwasher or anything, but I'll let it sit for a while and I'll give you guys an update when I get back from my trip sometime in the middle of January, end of January. And we'll see what happens. Well, that's really easy. Yeah, if you found the right stuff that you would need to seal this with to be able to wash it easily and put it through the dishwasher. That would be cool. So I'll leave this on my art desk while I'm gone and we'll see if it just like rubs off with my fingers or what. And I'll look into what it would take to seal it and we'll play with that as well. But you can see that that worked beautifully. Let's grab another color, maybe one that I wouldn't use quite as much like this bright purple. Now it says it'll work on wood. This is not exactly what they meant by wood. This is just a piece of chopped off firewood from my wood stove over there, but whatever. I didn't have a wood, I'm sure I have a wood panel somewhere, but I don't know where and didn't want to go looking because <laughs> my dresser is so far away, right? It's like right over there, whatever. Anyway, let's try it on this rough wood because that'll be a good test of everything. Ooh, it like soaks in and bleeds. That's kind of cool. I love it. Okay. 
Well, we'll let this sit on the desk too and see what happens. But it wrote on it really easily. I'm liking these a lot. So it occurred to me as I was sitting here doing other stuff, seeing this over on my desk that doing one layer of this paint stuff is never a big deal usually on this, but let's see how it does with two layers because then sometimes it tries to pull the paint off underneath. So figured we should probably test that. That is not the bright pink I was hoping for. <laughs> I think that these need to be shaken after they've sat. You can see that it's kind of separated. Dang it all. Let's try a brighter, different color, and we will shake it. Maybe the yellow would look nice. Shake, shake, shake. All right, let's see if that pulls paint. No, it goes right over the top beautifully. Now my cute little hearts don't look as cute, but that's all right. That paint is still very liquidy, so I'm going to get a blend in that one, but it's not pulling up the paint under it. So that's a good thing. Might as well do some more dots while we're at it because why not? I seem to be into dots this week. I like them. Okay, so they can layer on these odd surfaces. That just blended in because that pink was so liquidy since I didn't mix it up before using it. But all right, I'll get back to you about this in a couple weeks. And here are my marker storage bins that I showed you in that one video. And you can see the grabby acrylic markers just sit there in their box right beside them. If I move my little piece there, you can see they're just in their box they came in. They seem to be sitting there quite happily. I love it. Thanks so much for joining me today. It is always fun to try new products. Remember the 15% off discount link is in the description box below. Thank you to Grabby for letting me try these products. I really appreciate it. This was fun. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Let's do it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's just not me. Well, kind of is. I hope it was fun because I haven't tried them yet. Take it onto a sepit, sepit, a sepit. <laughs> well, that's it. That's all. <laughs> <clears throat> here's my, <clears throat> and here's my marker storage bench that I showed you. Oh my goodness.